All right, so I've got here the first harvest of the year. So in my previous video on the garden, you've seen some of the stuff growing, and now I decided to harvest them for juice. Now I'll go through quickly what I've got. So I've got, this is a Vates Curled Blue uh, Kale. This is either a Flash, uh, Flash Collard or Georgia Southern Collard. This is a um, Vates Hybrid Collard Green. This is a sorrel or a red sorrel just growing wild in my yard. This is a red giant mustard. I've got, I think, about eight of these plants. This is, uh, this is some dandelion greens. As you can tell, the dandelions here aren't quite big yet. These are just what I got off of maybe eight plants or so. And I'm going to make a juice today. So I'm going to add in some parsley from the store, some celery from the store, and some three oranges and a lemon. And that's it. All right, so I've prepared all of my produce for juicing. Uh, if you notice the juicer that I have, it's the Omega Vert 330, and I've upgraded the thing so that I've got the uh, Ultim screen, so it's now the, the 330 HD. And one of the problems with the uh, with this particular model is that if something is stringy then the the strings kind of get caught in the ejection chute and kind of block it up so something like parsley it's very important to cut and I cut it very finely uh, other things even like kale and collard greens they the the stalks are I'm telling people how to cut up their produce for juicing Why? because they need to know and uh, pretty much anything that's stringy. So I've got my celery in here too. Yep, we cut it up with a knife so that it goes through the juicer very easily uh -huh. and without blocking it up. And so this is all of the produce that I had cut up and I think I might add some more celery towards the end. So that was a pretty small celery stalk and I've got quite a few more. And then my oranges and then I'll just run them through the juicer. So this is the downside of having to cut up all your produce for this juicer is that you've got quite a lot of mess to clean up afterwards. But I wanted to show you why I cut this up. And if you look, here is a bunch of pulp that is caught in the ejection chute. And when I pulled it out, it would have been stuck right inside of there. Uh, but when I pull it out, half of it stayed in here. And let's pull this out from the ejection chute and see here. So see that is a glob of just fibrous mass that will, oh, and there's still some left that just won't you know, it kind of blocks it up. And, you know, in one regard, it, it, it makes you get a higher efficient juice. But in the second, uh, the downside of that is that you tend to get more pulp. And with some of the greens, you may not like so much pulp. And that was, that was about 50 ounces of juice out of all the produce that I did. It would have been substantially less out of not use so much celery or the oranges or lemon. But now for the cleanup. And let's taste this real quick. Let's see how this tastes. Mmm. Tastes okay. Not very sweet. Ooh, the lemon is pretty sour. But otherwise, it's acceptable.